exist in that company. <laughs> How old was she? She was old enough. What do you mean? And your grandma. Of course she has grandkids. You know what? Well, I got one for you guys. You guys want to hear a story? Do you want to hear a story? My bad, Papa. All right, all right. Hang on. I got one. I got one. Go ahead. This one's called Alpha and Omega, a co-creative tale of collaborative reality. By this dude named Joshua Ramey Ray. Oh, I know. I heard of him. You heard of him? Yeah, buddy. This is how it goes. On the day the world began, there were 100 monkeys in the trees. The next day, there were 500. Then, a thousand. Somebody pulled out a typewriter, typewriter. which hadn't been invented yet, obviously. I was going to ask. But there it was. One of the monkeys swung down, grabbed a banana on the way, perched a beaten up felt fedora head, uh, hat on his head, and started typing away. Another monkey looked over his shoulder and thought, huh, that doesn't look too hard. And he started banging away on another typewriter. Pretty soon, the whole forest... Wait, 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 wait. They had typewriters in the well, forest. Well, there must have been a forest, right? <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, where would the monkeys have been hanging out? In the out? forest with their typewriters, I guess. Uh, anyway, okay. the whole forest rang out with clickety-clickety-clack of typewriter <laughs> keys striking home, okay. the ding of the bell at the end of the line, and the zing of paper being pulled out of the roller. There was also the occasional, Oh, yeah, that's it. That sounds great. Or the muttered, Damn, what happens next? From the army of newly made typists, somebody lit a cigar, cigar. to help them concentrate. Then everybody had to have a cigar. The, the monkeys had cigars. The ladies <laughs> smoked cigarettes. There were lady monkeys. <laughs> of course. Okay. The reams of paper piled up. <laughs> a great haze of tobacco smoke drifted through the trees, and some of the monkeys stopped typing and gathered in little clusters around the water coolers that appeared well, here and there. Right. Dave, this does not hey, make sense. Do you want to hear the end, it, or do you want to keep bugging me about what does and doesn't make sense? Uh, okay, let's hear it. All right, then. All right. Shut up. All right. <clears throat> what do you think, Harv? One monkey asked another, nervously lighting another cigarette. Think it'll be any good? Don't know, Sid, said Harv. We'll have to see. He offered Sid a hit off the flask of Uzo he was carrying. Seriously? Hey, they say the Greeks invented civilization. Maybe Uzo was here first, huh? The clusters got bigger. <clears throat> the number of typists got smaller. And soon it was just a few sets of simian fingers hunting and pecking away, then just pecking then a last whoop, a final zing, as the final sheet of cheap bond paper was pulled in triumph from the qwerty tooth beast and placed into the stack. There was silence. A monkey nobody had seen yet, wearing a vest and a pair of horn rim glasses, swung down, picked up the pile of paper, bent the sheets like an eight and a half by eleven giant deck of cards between barely opposable thumbs and shuffled them together. He carefully tapped the pages, <clears throat> squared the edges, tapped them again, and stepped up to the microphone. Wait, wait, the- wait, where did they get a microphone? Guitar center? Man, I don't know where the <laughs> microphone came from, but it stands to reason, right? I mean, <clears throat> if you've got a thousand monkeys to hear you, you've got to have some sort of a PA system so there has to be a microphone. It doesn't make All right? sense. Okay. Shut All up. Right. Finish your weird ass story. <laughs> <clears throat> the monkey cleared his throat. The silence got quieter. The other monkeys looked at each other, nervous now by the way, hopeful it would all sound okay. Yeah. Their thoughts flickered across their faces. Okay, I mean, gosh, now that it's going to be read, uh, you know, out loud to a real audience, you know, maybe it's a little too silly. This whole collaborative thing might not have been such, might not have really been a good idea. Maybe we should come back tomorrow. Yeah, 
do another edit. We could write a play instead, okay? <clears throat> Once again, the monkey at the microphone cleared his throat. He lifted the top page, adjusted his glasses, and read. In the beginning were the heaven and the earth. And it was good. Wow. The end. That's it, guys. That's a story. Nick, seriously, what the fuck was that? All right. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, too. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. All right. I get it.